Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought by Louis Arts. My name is Emmanuel Okafo, and here it has been a while since I posted stuff on this channel. Um, that's because of I just finished my exam, so um, I've been engaged with school, so I had to give it more time. But I'm um, done, and um, today I'll be showing you guys um the new hair feature which Blender offers um in 2.74. Uh, okay. So let's start up. Um, I want to do two things here. I want to show you guys a trick of using the X mirror in the in the hair um, hair um, tool setting. Um, so I'm just quickly creating a plane with symmetry. Okay, I'll just move this along. Okay, so I'll, I'm just applying it. And I like to work with my display. Um, and since we're going to be doing the vert um, particles, we need more vertices. Um, one, two, three, four. So are the same. Okay, so let's start. So uh, let me create a particle system um, here by the scale and rotation. Make everything is looking good. Um, yep. You can see, uh, let me create a nice display color which is black. Mm. Yes. I want this to cut the dirt be quick. Uh, and this is black. So then we assign it to the black system. Cool. Okay, uh, now, so uh, what I want to cr try to create is an eyebrow. So let me show you a quick process I used to create my own. Then I will showcase how helpful the new feature can be. So uh, I'll just showcase the new feature. Um, so I'll reduce the length of the head to like 0.1. Cool. And the number to 0. So if I go to my particles tab here yeah, and add. I can add head to the whole stuff. Okay, so if I turn on X mirror, so you can see if I draw on one side of the head, um, plane, it um, replicates that at the other side. So it's very useful for something like eyebrows. So you get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, okay, so. Um, this function add is to create hair as we saw earlier, so that's what I'm going to use to just create the eyebrows. So I'll just I'm not using any reference now, so it may not be accurate, but using from experience to just click quickly rough out um, how it looks. It may not be perfect, but fully works. So just place it anyhow. Just brush it. Uh, and so you can hide it. I don't know if you can group hair. Hmm, that would be a nice feature if you can group hair because you you can also hide hair inside um the particles setting so you can create a new um you can uh, um off bring out new hair strands and create nice effects uh, okay so don't mind me I'm just getting carried away I, I enjoy um creating hairs like doing this this part is very I enjoy doing this part of the hair creation process just drawing stuff out and Convenient. it. Uh, so since the hidden hair will not be affected by uh, anything I'm doing now. So when you're doing you can alt H. So it looks rough and um, as you can see it's replicated at the other side of the hair. So cool. So now if we go to add children to the hair and I put interpolated which is mostly the one one to use when you want to get smooth hair render so you see if we use um, the sample simple hair render let me see if we can 
quickly make it look good a bit so it's quite difficult to make it look right um, if I go turn on the display step it's quite difficult uh, if I turn on and turn the aptitude to zero it's still difficult so uh, most of the times we go with the interpolated um, version of the hair system so one problem you get is since you um, didn't assign vertex group to it so you get this kind of spreading of hairs so what um, this is the new feature which Blender offers in the hair system. So uh, it's, it's just using curve instead of the clump feature. So you, if I put this clump now, this um, the default clump, I can the, we, you can drive it. But yet you're not getting a nice effect because everything just looks random, and it's just as if if this pattern does not work, you have to do another thing, or it's not as artistically artistically friendly um, okay so the new pattern um, of the using curve um, actually Maya uses it so most of when I work with Maya this part of it is very helpful um, so now blender has it so you can increase curve and see um, it does the same work which the um, normal um, this thing does so now as very easy as I just brought control the curve and it gave me this so you can also create points to create various effects which you want for your artwork so most of the times when I get it to this stage uh, because I know if I mess around with it I may spoil it so I'll just start playing with the end point and stuff and Yeah, and let me try to turn down the children. So you get the gist of it. Um, that's using it, and it also offers. Um. Yeah, so that's the curve setting in Blender. So another famous one is uh, the shape cuts. So I will show you how you do that if I quickly. Um. Okay. Just paint on Susan. Just the hair cap. Um, control Jason group. Um, we have a place painted, and if I add a hair system there, but this group. Um, for this vertex group. Cool. Um, turn down the number to about three. Flat the scale. It's looking good, good, good. Okay, so I'll just leave it like this. Mm. So this is looking complex for now. I, let me just use a simple sphere because um, that will take time to achieve what I want to achieve. So let's just use a simple sphere to do this one. Uh, so if you don't know how I'm using um, this draw select is control, control, um, right, right click. Oh, oh, sorry, <laughs> uh, control left. Click. I'm forgetting my hands, the left and right. Anyway, okay, cool. So let's do same thing we did and add a hair system. So this time it will be more quicker and organized. So this is what kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, so I'm quickly creating a shape. If I delete my and isolate this object, so let's quickly. Create a shape out of this of, um, sphere. So my symmetry is turned on by default. Um, so I'll just quickly rough out um, some hairstyle. So I, this feature was used is being used in the goose, gooseberry project, and that's why it seems useful for arti artists. Uh, which I've not gotten a hint of it, but I'm just showing you. 
um, how you can use it maybe in your own time you'll be lucky to see the use yet so um, let's say this stuff and okay, let me move this one <coughs> and go back to the same so it's looking cool so if it, I anyway let me continue <laughs> nice hey anyway so let's quickly name this um, object if I go to object panel, I'll say sh shape chords. I didn't change, I just name it anything. And select your part. I don't know, I, I'm, I've not gotten I just select this one and shift select this one. Maybe this doesn't matter. But if you go to your particles, edit uh, under the, after the mirror, you say shape. So this only present in 2.74. Um, select this the object name here and shape cut. So voila, you see it's try to uh, mimic the shape of the object. So from here you can start refining it. So this gives you just like a very good starting point to create awesome looking hairstyles. So this is it from the Lewis art presented by Manolo Kafo. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was helpful, share it to your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because in the forthcoming week you will be receiving very awesome tips and videos. Okay, bye bye. See you in the next one.